Hey, Railbirds, Kevin here. All right, we're getting down to the nitty-gritty here. We have Gold Division Team's Hot Seat Match at the 2018 Western BCA Nine Ball Championships. We're coming at you live from the Chinook Winds Casino Resort here in beautiful Lincoln City, Oregon. We're right on the coast. Look out the window, there's the beach. And then the ocean. Now it's gorgeous here. You guys should come out come on down if you haven't before. So the teams we have battling it out for the hot seat. Just for fun. Which consists of the members Slava Min, Pavel Ustinov, and Renat uh, Valiulin. I'm sure I've butchered their names and I apologize for that. And their opponents will be Fargold, consisting of Ramil Oregas, Kathy Stanley, and Daniel Sardancillo. Right, here we go. Yeah, I am your host, Kevin Ross. Thanks for joining us today. Up first, we're going to have, uh, on the other table, your little picture-in-picture, picture, we're going to have Slava versus Ramil. It was Ramil's break. Slava's at the table now. And on our main table here in front of us, we have Pavel versus Kathy. Pavel with Just for Fun, Kathy with Fargold, Kathy breaking. We are playing mostly CSI rules nine ball. Main deviation is going to be, it's going to be rack for your opponent instead of rack your own. It is alternate break. The nine on the break counts as a win in all six pockets. Some places play where the bottom two pockets don't count. Not here. They all count. Jump cues are allowed. Three foul rule is in effect. And this is going to be a race to 11. Three person teams. We're playing on two tables at once. Hey, Josh, welcome back. Oh, you're just in time. We are just starting. Three foul rule. What is the three foul rule, Josh asks? If you commit three consecutive fouls in the game without any intervening non foul, then that's going to be an automatic loss of game. But if you commit two fouls in a row and then you get a good hit, then that three foul counter is reset back to zero. And it does not carry over from one game into the next. And you also have to tell your opponent that they've committed to. Can't surprise them with it. No, that was your third one. You lose. What? What do you mean? No, you gotta you gotta warn them. Gotta tell them that they have two fouls when they're shooting their third one. All right, Kathy at the table looking at this two ball. All right, nice shot. Choosing to just take a take a difficult shot on this three. Probably going to play safe. Just bank the three out of there. Try to get that cue ball behind the nine. Don't really see much else. That's what she's doing, just trying to play safe. Oh, and she's made the three. Whoops, didn't want that to happen because she's hooked on that four. Well, it looks like she can see a piece of it, but I don't think she can see enough to cut it in the corner. Yeah, that was about all she could see, and well, this is going to land in a spot that's that's not too bad. All right, brings Pavel to the table from Just for Fun. So you may have heard a little while ago, 
They did the drawing for the second of the two Predator Qs. The winner was Chris Neeland. Congratulations, Chris, winning that Predator Q stick with a value of $1,350. It didn't cost them a penny to enter into the drawing. That's pretty nice. Free Q stick. Who doesn't like free? All right, nice shot there, Pavel. Nice little safety. So it brings Kathy to the table. Kathy and her partner, Junior Sardancilla, won the Scotch Doubles. They won their division a couple days ago here. You, could, you may have seen that on our live stream. We covered that match. Ah, oh, just missed. All right, so that's that safety has earned Pavel ball in hand. So successful safe. So, as I said, this is the hot seat match of the gold division, and they're playing for some pretty serious money out there. Um, this is not the finals. This is the hot seat, which means uh, the winner of this will move into the finals. But first place pays $5,040. Second place, $3,540. So if you win this match, you're guaranteed at least second place, if not first. And even if you lose this match, you're still guaranteed at least third place, but you could still come back and win the tournament. Third place is $2,490. So everybody uh, in this match right now, each team is guaranteed at least $2,490. And they're working on winning, winning some more money on top of that. But yeah, twenty, yeah, roughly twenty five hundred dollars. So that that's eight hundred and change, eight hundred and thirty three dollars or something like that per person. You chop it up three ways. That's what they're each guaranteed right now, and and they're working on adding to that. So they're playing for some real money. So you know the the pressure is real. And over on that other table, Kathy Stanley, why'd you hit that ball so hard? <laughs> That's an inside joke. Maybe not all that inside. But, you know, over on the other table, Slava kicking at this seven ball. That's looking good. Nice shot, Slava. All right, Slava with the first game over on that other table just for fun. One, oops, wrong one, wrong one. There we go, just for fun. And Kathy gets this one with far gold.
tied up one apiece. So up next, we're going to have Renat racking for Daniel. He'll be breaking on one of these two tables. The other table will be Ramil racking versus Pavel, who will be breaking. Looks like Renat over on the other table. All right, here, Ramil is on this table. All right, so on our main table, we're going to have Pavel versus Ramil. Hello, Donald. Welcome. I'm sorry I don't have that information, and I can't really run down there and ask him at the moment, so sorry about that. Josh wants uh, Railbirds to be his sponsor. Well, what's in it for us? What are you going to do for us? All right, Pavel with the break versus Ramil. Over on the other table, we have uh, Daniel versus Renat. All right, made a ball. You can see the one. Not an easy shot to start with. Maybe, can he, can he bank the one at this nine? Or maybe like off the, you know, the one goes off the side rail and then into that like 6-9 billiard type of thing. And that's what he's looking at. He's looking at banking the one off the rail and then off of one of those balls into the nine. No, he's just playing safe. Okay. I was going to say, that seems kind of dangerous because if you don't make it, you might leave it for your opponent. And, ooh, that might be a, there might be a billiard here on the nine. Ooh, that two is really sticking its nose out there. Oh, nice try there, Ramil. All right, it brings Ramil to the table with a nice, nice look at this one to start with. Yeah, you want to get down here. I mean, if, if you can get the cue ball all the way down there, just a billiard off of the four into the nine is probably easier than a four, six, nine combination. Well, Josh, you can. Sorry about that. Had to take care of something. I was gonna say, Josh says, "Yeah, hey, you can wear you can wear Railbird's shirt all you want. Like I do, is buy one." Oh. 
think I like maybe like two rails kicking at this. I think that five's in the way to go one rail. Oh boy, that's no good. Well, just having a look at this, make sure it's all lined up and good to go. So it does look like that 4-9 might be lined up into that point a little bit. So he just wants to make sure that 9 actually goes and doesn't uh, just rattle out. And there it is. Whoa! Oh, no! Wow. I did not uh, foresee that happening. <laughs> I don't think anybody did. And look where this 9 ball is going to spot. Ricky, correct. Not finals. This is the hot seat. Oh, look at this. Nine ball? No, it's not going. You guys. <laughs> All right, cut the two in the side. Send the cue ball at the nine. No, just kidding. Just cut the two, one, the two in the corner, cut the four in, and then uh, five nine combo. No, he is. He's going at the two in the side. No, he's shooting the two in the corner. He's not shooting the two in the side. Nice shot. All right, over on the other table, Renat looking at a cut on the nine. All right, nice cut there, Renat. Just for fun, takes the lead, two to one, and Pavel looking really good on this five nine. All right, he made the uh, made the nine ball twice that game, but he only gets credit for one. All right, three to one, just for fun versus Fargold. It's gonna bring up on this table Daniel versus Slava. Daniel racking Slava breaking for just for fun. Other table will be, looks like Kathy versus Renat. Yep, Kathy racking, Renat breaking. Hey, Gary, welcome back. Donald wants to know, is this handicapped? Um, sort of. The field is broken up into divisions based on skill level, and then within that division, everyone plays plays even up. All right, Slava at the table, made a ball, looking at this one. Oh, just overcut it. All right, it's going to bring Daniel Sardinsillo to the table. 
I mentioned earlier, Kathy on this team, on Team Fargold, Kathy and her Scotch Doubles partner won the Scotch Doubles, and Kathy's Scotch Doubles partner was Daniel's father, and Daniel won the Platinum Singles a couple nights ago, right here on the live stream. And no, Kathy is not related to any of them. Just a Scotch Doubles partner, that's all. All right, ball in hand for Slava. <clears throat> oh, don't get behind that nine. Oh, boy. He got behind the nine. So the other table is we're not, uh, yeah, we're not versus Kathy. All right, Slava kicking at this two. Good hit. And is that going to leave a shot? Ooh, that's close. I think Daniel can see enough of this to make it. Oh, good. Vincent's still here. I was worried. Glad you're still with us, Vincent. All right, looks like that two does pass. And over on that other table, Renat is in good position now to win another game for his team. Uh, I think Ricky is lagging behind a little bit. Nice shot, Renat. All right, just for fun, going up four to one versus Fargold. Ooh, that three's just gonna hang. And that's gonna on the other table. It's gonna bring up Renat again versus Ramil. Renat will be racking, Ramil will be breaking. Renat's just going to camp out at that table. Okay, Ricky, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> I'm slow sometimes. Okay, a lot of times. All right, I think Slava's got a shot at this four. Nice shot, Slava. Come across for the six. Nicely done. Uh, Ricky, I believe Sherry's going to be sitting out this match, so it's going to be just me for this one. Sorry, guys. You're stuck with me for this match. If you want your money back, I understand. Nice shot. Give him some angle. Don't leave him straight in. Yeah, he's looked pretty straight on this. 
draw back three rails around or follow forward for short side on the eight. Oh, well, thanks, Will. We like you too, Ricky. Now, Josh, on the other hand, well, I'm not so sure about him. Oh, he was. He's going with option A. Draw three rails around. Nice shot there, Slava. Must be that Revo shaft. It's all in that uh, Revo. Actually, I don't know that that's a Revo. I was just kind of making an assumption. Ooh, hold on. A little too much power in that. Nice out there, Slava. Adds another one to his side of the scoreboard, five to one. Versus Daniel, that's, uh, that's a nice accomplishment. Daniel's a pretty strong player. Not that Slava is any slouch either. All right, so Slava is gonna be right back up versus Kathy. It's gonna be Slava's rack, Kathy's break. AccuFast, are those the uh, those the rails that are on all housing tables? Is that what AccuFast is? Yeah, it's just a just a trade name like uh, Brunswick has super speed rails, so Olhausen has to have AccuFast rails. And Diamond has rails <laughs> with Artemis rubber. rubber. Kathy going for a safe behind the seven. Let that cue ball just leak out, but that one ball is still going to hide in behind these balls. Oh, it's poking its head out a little bit. It's going to let, uh, I believe, who's at the table? Is that Slava? Yeah, that's Slava. It's going to let Slava see a piece of this one, but there's not much he can do with it. <laughs> I take that back. There's plenty he can do with it. Nice shot there, Slava. It's perfect on this one. Roll up for the four ball and then a what looks like it could be a pretty juicy five nine. Never seen Slava play before, but I'm liking what I'm seeing. 
He might have a little too much angle on this four for the five nine. He may be forced to like roll forward for the five on the side. We'll see what he we'll see what he does. Yeah, he had too much angle for the five nine. So he's just playing for the five, gonna run him out. Oh, Slava making a nice run out here. Yeah, he's really starting to feel it. His pace around the table has picked up a little. Shooting with a lot of confidence now. All right, six to one, and his teammate over on the other table about to go up seven one. Seven one. Wow, that is a commanding lead over this. Very strong team of Fargold. Fargold's a strong team, then to make and to be up seven one is is big. All right, it's going to bring up Pavel uh, Racking and Daniel Breaking right here on our main table. And over on the other table, we're going to have Ramil Racking and Slava Breaking. All right, apparently I'm... I scored one of the games wrong, that it is 6-2, not 7-1. So, sorry about that. Did not want to cheat Fargold out of a game. My apologies. I'm going to go uh, double check the score sheet just to see which game it was that I got wrong because I want to update my score sheet to make sure I am all up to date. So I'll be right back. All right, that was Ramil at the other table. And the little picture-in-picture, picture, that was Ramil at the table, not Renat. So that's where my mistake was. Sorry about that. So Ramil was the one that shot that nine and that little picture-in-picture. Picture. Sorry, Ramil, didn't mean to take that victory away from you. My apologies. All right, Daniel at the table. Nice draw, good speed, good position. Nice shot there, Daniel.
Ah, going with the one foot in the air uh, uh, method. Well, actually, this works out. This pushes that seven in a, in a pretty good spot here. Just t just tap this six in, like so. And Daniel's going to be making quick work of this rack. Nicely done. I didn't see if that was uh, a break and run. I know Daniel, he ran those from the from the one ball, but I don't know if that was a break and run. Either way, nicely done. That's a three, so th six to three. And that's going to bring up Let's see, we already have Slava and Ramil on the other table. On this table, we're going to have Pavel versus Kathy. Kathy racking, Pavel breaking. Daniel started with ball in hand from the scratch. Okay. Thanks, Paul. Because I had to run and go and check the score. I didn't actually see what happened at the beginning of that rack, but thank you. Hey, look who's back. Hi. Hi, how you doing? Oh, I'm hanging in there. Okay, good. Please hang in there. I'm trying. Okay. It's hard. Well, Melissa just hung a nine on the next table over. Oh, no. All right, here we go. Kathy with the rack, and that's going to be, uh, who did I say? Pavel. Pavel with the break. Hello, Ricky. So how's that football game going back in Michigan? Uh, we're down 7 nothing. Our son's playing in a high school football game that we're trying to keep up with here. That's their. Uh, it's the senior night, and it's the last home game of the season. And 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 we can't be there for it. Makes us sad. But he, under, our son, understands. We we'd be there if we could. All right, Pavel with the break. Nice break. Is he gonna get a shot on this one? Uh, nope. Nope. Balls keep falling too. Made three balls on the break there. Uh, Traverse City. Traverse City West High School. <laughs> hey, somebody won over there. Somebody's so excited. Someone's happy. Actually, a few someones are happy, yeah. uh, which means there's probably a few someones that aren't happy. Uh, no, it was uh, j a nice out, not an end of a match. Ah, okay. All right, so what's Pavel going to do here? Push out, or is he going to try to do something? Yeah, he's pushing down to the end rail by the corner, I think. All right, Ramil wins on the other table. All right, Ramil making a comeback. Oh, no, he's just going to push the side rail. All right, desperately needed. A little bit of a, off to a little bit of a slow start, but they're starting to catch their stride now. Yep. So on the, on the other table, it's going to bring up uh, Daniel Racking and Renat Breaking. Let's 
So here we have Kathy looking at this one. Three balls over there. So banking the one cross side. You got to come around three rails to get on this three. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking play safe here. Well, it sure looks like Kathy's going for this bank. She's going to try to move this cue ball around to get on the three. Looks like she's winding up. Yeah, she was trying to get there. She got on the three, just didn't make that one. All right, brings Pavel to the table. Yeah, I was uh, I was in favor of playing safe there. Oh, Pavel's got on the fifty yard line here with this three. Cut in the side, come three rails around. Actually it'd be four rails under the six. Three and four rails, and that's perfect. It's even going to have a little bit of angle to come out for the five. Very nice shot there, Pavel. All right, five up in the corner. And this is going to... Get just for fun back on track again. Meanwhile, over on the other table, Daniel says, Wait a minute, I'm still in this game. No. <laughs> He's got a little bit of a funny angle here in this five. He's not dead straight in. I still like, even though he has just a tiny bit of angle, I still like going to the corner. I think you can hold this up for the six by going to the corner, but he doesn't like it. Goes for the side. I got a little bit of a tester here on the six. Yep. Oh, oh he forgot to cut it. And Daniel has just yeah. made a couple of nice shots over there on that other table. Yes, he had, that last one was really nice. And he came back, got himself back in line perfect over there. Yeah, Daniel's in good shape now over there to get one back for his team, to get another one back. Kathy going to climb up on the table. Uh, slide it back down underneath this not, uh, nine ball for it in the other corner. Oh, no, oh, she popped did she, it. Did she miss Q? What a happened? A little bit, yeah, and her cue ball jumped up in the air. All right, Daniel gets his. All right, Daniel getting one back, getting another one back for Fargold, closing up that gap. Nah. So it's going to bring, well, it should bring Pavel and Ramil, but Pavel's busy here. So we're in a holding pattern until yeah. this till this game's over. Okay. And there goes Sherry. <laughs> and she's gone. Come on, Kathy. Cut this nine in. Oh, overcut it. All 
All right, Pavel gets one back for his team. Puts him back, uh, back winning again. Seven five, race to eleven. All right, so it's going to bring Pavel Racking against Ramil Breaking, and Renat Racking versus Kathy Breaking. Which tables they go to? Well, we'll find out in a second here. All right, it looks like Pavel's going to stay on this table here. So Pavel versus Ramil on this table, and Renat versus Kathy on the other table. Ruben missed the field goal. Nuh uh. Nah. All right, we're going to dock him a day's pay. Uh -huh. All right. So we've got Kathy and whom? We have uh, Kathy versus Renat. And on this table, we have uh, Ramil versus Pavel. Ramil breaking on this table, Kathy breaking on the other table. All right. Teamwork to remove the magic rack. Yeah. I'm not really liking this five eight. Yeah, it's kind of ugly, ain't it? Yeah, I'm wanting to. I'm wanting to think about how can I break this out so that when I get back to the five, I have a, I have something to, to shoot at. I wonder if it's possible to play the uh, one off of the five and in the hole. I don't Just know, open it up a little bit. Uh oh, mayday, mayday, mayday! No, 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 that's in May. <laughs> All right, brings your meal to the table. Oh, yeah, if you can get an angle on the three to break out the 5-8 and still leave you a shot on the floor, that would be nice. Or maybe the five goes, and I'm worrying about nothing. That goes, but it's not easy. Well, he's definitely not, uh, not going to be breaking it out from here. I might be able to push forward and come in behind the eight. And he says, no. no, I don't like it either. You deal with it. <laughs> I think they're both pointing at it and saying, no, I don't want to. I don't want to. <laughs> no, they're you both, have it. They were both uh, kind of joking about it. <laughs> it's like, I was hoping you'd break that up for me. <laughs> All right, Pavel to the table. Well, this isn't going to be easy to even be able to see the five unless you just shoot and stop, and then you're looking at uh, possibly that cue ball going into the corner there. Yeah, you might be able to draw the cue ball all the way back to the head rail, maybe cut the five in from up there, or shoot a stop shot here and just play safe on the five. Or oh, don't hook yourself on the eight. He's uh... all right. Kick the five out of there. Yeah, kick to that left side rail, hit and stick. Try to kick safe. Yeah, 
Kick it out of there. Kick it safe. Stick that cue ball behind the eight. At least that's what you want to try to do. Easier said than done, for sure. Uh-oh. And on the other table, Kathy has ball in hand. Draw it straight back down. She is. All right. Drop this one in the side, Ramil. You'll have a shot on the seven. You just got to touch it in, though. Yeah. And if you miss it, uh, you got a couple balls to hide behind. Yep. Oh, nice. Nice shot there, Ramil. Just missed it. Oh, I thought it was going to go in the side yeah. anyway. Oh, look at this. It froze up on the eight. It may still go in the corner, especially from there. Mm -hmm. See what that Littman lights overhead camera shows us. Yeah. It's really, it's really tight. It's real close. I mean, they're not frozen together, but I don't know if it's far enough apart where you can actually uh, make this or not. May just be shooting the seven to the to the bottom rail for safe. That's what he's doing. Uh -huh. Just seven to the bottom rail. Uh oh. Yeah. So oh, watch out for that billiard on the nine. I smell cheese. Is it Gouda? Is it cheddar? It's Swiss. Uh, it's it's a yellow cheese. I know that. It's one of the yellow varieties. You know, Kathy looking at a kind of a tough it, shot. It, well, on the you know, it's yellow and white, so it's got to be Munster. Colby Jack. There you go. Colby Jack. I like Colby Jack cheese. In the heart. There it is. Nice, nice shot, shot Ramil. Ramil. And the seven just for good measure. Just in case. All right. Fargold. Hey, Face Man says it too. It's Munster. That's right, Joe Town. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Face Man. <laughs> You outing them again? Yeah, I do that. All right, let's uh, watch Kathy have a swing at this nine. Come on, Kathy, put it in the hole. Oh, no. Oh, you got to cut it. Is it going to land, it's is it gonna land tough? Not really. Yeah, this is actually kind of tough. Uh, okay, I guess it did. Over From looking straight out at the table, it looks like a little bit less of a cut than it does actually on the camera. Wow, uh, who's smoking in here? Uh, nobody. It's because of that side door being open. All right, Renat, looking at, uh, is he banking this or cutting it? I think he's cutting it. He was trying me. to. This is going to come out down and get funny for Kathy now. All right, just fire this bank cross side, Kathy. All right, grip it and rip it. Rip it. Durano, baby. Meanwhile, on the other table, we have uh, Slava racking and Daniel breaking. Nobody home for Daniel? Nope. No friends. Hey, 
why did my thing turn off? That I don't was know. Rude. Because I thought you weren't watching it anymore. What's the score over there? Still uh, the same? It was seven nothing last I saw, but for some reason my live stream cut out on it. Hmm. I paid good money for that. Drano, baby. Yeah, like I said. Yep, that's exactly what you said. Good girl, she listens. All right, since the since the since the beginning of the set when the score was zero zero, it's the first time it's tied up again. Race to four from here. All right, let's go back and have a look at Slava versus Daniel. <laughs> Excuse me. Nice run, kid. What? No one said we were going to have to do math when, while we're watching pool. That wasn't part of the agreement. All right. Safety by Daniel. What well, kind of a two-way? Yeah. Math is hard. All right, Slava, just nice little soft, just nice little soft kick. Kick the two the other side of the seven. Nice and nice and gentle. Like so. Get over there. Oh. <laughs> Chris Robbins says, math, I'm out. <laughs> yeah. That's why we don't play the USAPL. <laughs> <laughs> we don't want to we don't want to do all that math. You expect me to count from like three to four. <laughs> Daniel's looking at this nine ball and playing safe behind the seven. Boy, that's he's he's crafty like that. Oh, oh boy, I figure might as well if it's going that way. Look at making it right. He's I trying like the to. Way he he's trying to be extra mean. I like it. Yeah. Ramil's looking at riding this nine. Go get him, Ramil. I guess he doesn't like trying to get back on the two. No, he's playing the one off of the nine. That's what it is. Oh. All right, Slava looking to kick on this two. Yeah, Look at going. Probably think going go two rails behind the two or one rail. I think I like the two rails better. Yeah, I do too. There he's going two nice rails. Hit. Get out of there. Perfect. Safe. Nicely done, Slava. All right, still seven nothing. Less than two minutes to go in the half. Go Titans. All right, Daniel's getting his jump cube. Yeah, that, uh, that six ball's kind of far away from the one ball and then kind of a close distance between the six and the two. So this is one of the more difficult jumps for sure. Might end up like hopping the cue ball like over the two or something. Yeah, you got to try and land it right at the base of the two yeah. ball so that it stays on the table probably. Yeah, this is a this is a difficult jump. Just If that six was like six inches closer to the cue ball, it'd be a lot easier. And wow. Like a hanger. What a shot. Butter. And shape on the three, sort of. <laughs> well, from where he <laughs> was, that's shape on the three. Wow, <laughs> what a shot. I mean, it's all right. What a shot. Kevin liked the shot. 
Yeah, I did too. <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry Ouch. about that. Sorry. How'd he hit it like the champion that he is? Yeah. Oh, save? Nope. Mm, winder. Save two rails behind the five, and that's perfectly executed. Nicely done. Good hit He's got everything moving. How come how did nothing fall? How'd that three not fall? I don't know how that three didn't fall. All right, he left a wafer thin cut on the three to the side. A little bit of bottom right, spin two rails around. Seven three. Go Titans. Oh, he killed it too much. Oi. Yeah, he wanted to kill it because it was a thin cut, but it killed it extra dead. Just a little bit too much there, Slava. He's just a sicko looking at back cut in this four. He is. Yeah, I've never seen, uh, you know, Slava, he's our housemate, but I've never seen him play before. And he seems to be a pretty solid player. That's in. That's a nice, nice shot. shot Get that seven out of the way. Get that seven that out of the way. Ooh, right. just enough room to make this. Yeah, roll, roll forward for short side on the six. Hey. Okay, it's half time. You got me for at least 12 more minutes. All righty, sweet as. Oh. All right, what are we looking at over here? A mess, that's what we're looking at. That's a nice little nice. touch shot there. Nice touch there, Daniel. Has he been playing one pocket? Probably. That's a one pocket kind of move. Mm hmm And after this, we've got the silver hot seat match, right? And then yep. one more match for the day. Yeah, at 6 o'clock, we'll have the silver hot seat. All right, Ramil with ball in hand on the other table. Oh. 
Daniel without ball in hand on this table. Uh, Emil got a hold of that ball a little bit more than I think he wanted to, but he should be okay here. Yeah, it looks like he's sitting pretty good on this seven. Oh, Ramil's ended up, you know, that 50-yard line again. Yeah. It's not a good place to be for football either. <laughs> Always cutting it to the side. Uh, Ricky, on, uh, on teams, they don't use the beads. At least not usually. Yeah, no, they don't. Nobody uses them in teams. I think they should, though. I told you what I thought they should yeah, do. Yeah, one team should use one set of beads. The other team should use the other set of beads you uh, know, on, the, on the table that they're sitting in front of. Yeah, La Slava completely oh. aired the five ball and scratch. Just for good measure in case there's yeah. any question whether he hit the five or not. Ramil All right, wins. Ramil. All right. For the first time this set, Fargold takes the lead. Yeah. That's huge. When it matters. Um, so Bloodbath and Billiards will be playing tomorrow because they won that match. Yeah. All right. Slava versus Kathy. They're up next, but Slava's currently playing, so we are in a holding pattern again. Yep. Yeah, they will be playing the finals at 10 a.m. Oh, man, I hate this layout. 10 a.m. <laughs> From one ball on the rail to a ball on the other rail to a ball on the other rail. Yeah, stop. <laughs> Oh, don't get straight. Uh, uh, so you got the angle where he can draw to the end rail and cut with some, maybe some right English and spin it over at the eight. This is Daniel. He has 17-year-old eyes. He can just shoot a stop shot here and just cut that eight in. He's looking at drawing <laughs> it back. He's probably yeah. going to think better about it and just do your shot, the stop shot. Yep. Yeah. You have 17 year old eyes. You can uh, just shoot the stop shot, cut that eight in. Oh my gosh, Josh, right? No, <laughs> oh, he went with the spin out. Slava with a chance to tie it up. I play a little, Ricky. <laughs> they had a 505 Fargo, so I'm a, I'm a decent shot. Yeah, sure, he knows their way around a pool table. I, I, I have more knowledge in my brain than I have execution in my arm. <laughs> Don't we all, though? Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, you know, I, I've taken lessons from JD, worked out with Todd Marsh repeatedly, Rafael Martinez, uh, Dan Fitzsimmons, Glenn Atwell. Glenn Atwell um, the guy who taught uh, Nick Barner and um, well, we used to be Belinda Beard and Calhoun, whatever her last name is right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, that little Chinese man down in Florida. And um, I know I'm forgetting somebody. Oh, uh, Cole Dixon. Hal, that's who, yeah. Uh, no comment, Josh. That was, a, that was a nice shot there by Daniel. Yeah, it was. Yeah, Hal, uh, Hal was, I mean, that was a lucky thing, too, just like getting the lessons from um, from Cole Dixon. He, I, you know, the, uh, the NWPA, the women's tour out here in the Pacific Northwest, we would go to the cue ball down in Salem to play tournaments, and Hal would come in and watch him, and he watched me play and said, you know, hey, I'd like to work with you. And the one thing he actually worked on me with was the uh, how far you follow through on a draw shot. That was some of the biggest stuff I learned from Hal. 18 inches, right? No, 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 no. <laughs> Your follow through relates to how, follow through relating to how far you draw the ball. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we, we, uh, you take it correctly. Yes, 
And that's all I'm going to say about that. All right, so we have uh, Kathy is racking and Slava is breaking over on the other table. And on this table in front of us here, we have Daniel racking and Pavel breaking. Yep. Yeah, Gene, you're right. You do have to have the time, you know, to put in the uh, the hours of the uh, practicing with, with getting those lessons. And that's where, you know, my pro I'm a housewife and a mom first. So I, while I was still playing, I wasn't really actually out there working on my game, just trying to maintain it. Now I'm actually going to work on it because one's uh, 17, the other one's 18. Now it's my turn and Kevin's turn too. Yep. Nine ball. Ooh. All right. This is shaping up to be quite a match. It was. It started out looking like it was going to be a runaway, but uh, Fargold has found their stride and have taken the lead. This is quite a turnaround. This is a. This is a good match. Yeah, it is. All right. Well. Thank you, Ricky, and uh, maybe we'll see you tomorrow. Yes, Josh, that is correct. You are too personal. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. No, yeah, yes, we are. We are a husband and wife team. Yeah, they married for like 23 years or somewhere around about there. Yeah. Oh, nice break over there by Slava on the other table. There's a nice little shot on the one by Pavel to get started with. He's got a good look at this, too. Oh, he really grabbed a hold of that. Slow down. Yeah, that type of shot right there, that's so easy to do because you're so worried about just underdoing it and then just ending up where the ball just stops at the two. It's so easy to overdo it. Especially on this table, which is running pretty fast. He's he's okay. Yeah, he can still run around and come back out. But oh, he's got to hit that that tight perfect. gap, and that's a really nice speed. Yeah. Nice, nice shot there, Pavel. Nice touch. Yes, Bernie. Uh, uh, these team events we play on two tables. That way, it goes goes twice as fast. If we just played on one table, it would take uh, much longer and yeah, three hours or something for a match. If it was done on one table, yeah, we would not be able to get this done uh, in a week. Yeah, even though you say, well, you're using twice as many tables to play matches, it it really does make a big difference in the uh, time allotments. I mean, and there's 80 pool tables here, right? Yeah, so let's put them to use. I'm thinking we might have like a hill hill going here. All right, it's working on that, isn't it? I'm thinking we're going to be going hill hill. Um, if there isn't a match going on a table, yeah, they are open to, to practice on. Pavel a little undecided here on what, where he wants to get on the eight. Because mm -hmm. it goes in every hole on the table. Yeah, that's a problem. you got too many choices. Yeah. That's what I hate about ball in hand. What? i got to make choices, especially an eight ball. All right. Cut it in the corner. Come three rails around for the nine. Like, can't I just leave it where it is and you tell me which one to shoot? <laughs> <laughs> Um, as well, the other some of the other tables uh, and that you see when we're on the side view are actual matches going on. Yeah, there's other stuff going on than just this than this just this match. That's a nice shot. Nicely done, Pavel. It's a nice run. Nah, just finish it off here. Wow, Kathy's extension is like two feet long. Yeah, that's, that is that is the longest <laughs> extension I've ever seen for a cue stick. Earl Strickland would be jealous of that extension. Yeah, he would. 
Nice run out there, uh, Pavel, for just for fun. Yeah, let's go have a look at uh, this game over here. So you can get, yeah, you see that uh, that club in her hand? That's the extension for her cue. Yeah. It's like the size of a whole cue butt. Yeah, or, or, for, or one for at least for a jump, you know, one for one of Arnie's jump cues. Yeah. And he likes to make that cues That right there, that's, the ex that's just the extension of her cue. It's like the size of a whole cue butt. <laughs> I mean, look at the size of that thing. Yeah, it's huge. <laughs> wow. Nice butt, Kathy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I'm going to touch the butt. And yes, we are in a holding pattern because we're waiting for Slava, who's currently in this match right here with Kathy. Hey, half time's almost over, guys. Come on, chop chop. Oh no! Oi! Okay, Marshall Craft, welcome back. Hey, hey, hey! I haven't seen you in a couple days. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so you better behave yourself, Alex. Yep. It's there forever for the whole world to see. Or as long as Google's in business. Mm hmm. Well, I hope you're feeling better, Marshall Craft. You shouldn't go to work when you're sick. Don't get everyone else sick, too. No. Stay home. Hey, there's my swan over there shooting. You have a swan? Yep. And it plays pool? Apparently. Uh, what's the main aiming system the pros use? I think the main aiming system that the pros use is shoot a million balls. No. Yeah. No, really, they've played so many. They have. They have hit millions of balls that it's all just automatic. It uh, it's by feel. Yeah, by uh, making contact point and meet contact point. <laughs> and they, they actually probably use several of them depending on what kind of shot that it is. But Shane just knows. I mean, he's shot a billion balls probably because the <laughs> kid's been playing since... I think before he got into diapers. <laughs> well, he came. He comes from a pool playing family. His mm -hmm. and mama was probably playing pool with him in their belly. Nice shot, and it's not the position on the eighty wanted, but it's a shot. Yeah, he's still at the table. And Chris Robbins has a has a job that keeps her from using the the hit a million balls method. Yeah, I have teenagers. And two and two pugs. <laughs> two pugs. Two pugs. She has two pugs? No, I do. Oh, we do, yeah. We have two teenagers and two pugs that keep us from doing that. Yes. And two yobs. 
Chris Robbins only got one, you lazy thing. You only got one job, you lazy? Oh, wow, <laughs> nice little rub there for Slava. This, will this tie it up? This will tie it up. Yeah, we're you know we're going hill hill. Yeah, baby. All right, tied up, nine apiece. Niner, niner. <laughs> All right, Slava racking, Ramil breaking, and Kathy racking with Pavel breaking. Which table is which? Well, we'll find out in a second when they when they figure it out. They'll let us know. They'll let us know, and we'll let you know. It's like uh, Slava's going to the other table. Oh, no, it's not Kevin. It's Kevin and Sherry. Yeah. You're back now. Yeah, give me credit for being here, please. Okay, here. Thank you. And then I'm going to disappear because halftime's almost over. <laughs> Speaking of, how's your son doing? <laughs> yeah, they are down 7-3 to three right now. That's almost the end of halftime. okay they're a second half team hey it's the Stephen fair hello Stephen. welcome in oh. i guess while we're still at halftime i can go well you can pull up the brackets wondering when ed and them play i think they play at six Oh, get out of there, cue ball. Uh, 6 p.m., that is correct. Table 15 and 16. Okay. So right over there. Sure. Okay, I see Billy over there. So they must be warming up. All right, here we go. Pavel with the break. So on this table in front of us, we have Pavel breaking versus Kathy. Other table, Ramil breaking versus Slava. Yeah. Uh, and Ramil broke and scratched. Uh, and Slava, I mean Pavel. Pavel made a nice break here and has a nice shot on the one to start. Oh, Two's okay. hanging, three on the, the other three side. Three to the four is going to be the uh, three to the four. The five to the seven. And five to the seven. No, no, Alex, you shouldn't go to bed. Hmm. You cannot be a great pool player and have a full-time job at the same time. That's kind of similar to what uh, somebody used to say. He used to say, I'll play anybody in the world as long as they just show me uh, pay stubs, you know, for the last uh, month. You know, meaning, you know, You've been if, working. if they're a working man, I'll play any working man in the world, <laughs> basically. Nice shot, Slava. Yeah, Pavel's in a tough spot here. Nice. This is good. He's got angle yeah. to come out to have the angle that he needs on the five. Yeah, with what he had to work with on the three, this isn't bad. Let's roll this in. All right, snatch that rock back. Yeah, he's trying, you know. He's actually ended up a little flat on this five. I would like just a little more angle than this, but well, you make do with what you got. Okay, the band has left the field. Now it's stretching time again. Oh, oh. you got to heat it. Oh. All right, so are we going for this bank, or are we going to just thin off the left side of the seven? He's going for this bank. He's not, not even thinking twice about it. No, he's no, playing he's safe. He's playing safe. 
If you're going to play safe, I'd rather thin off the left side of the seven and bring the cue ball all the way back down table. Try to get it underneath the nine, too, yeah, maybe. And, e and even if you don't, you left, you would leave, you'd be leaving a lot more distance. Didn't he see Kathy make this shot just a, you know, a few games ago? <laughs> that one was a little bit more difficult, uh, a little bit easier than yeah, this one. This one, this one's more difficult. Yeah, well, this one's kind of straight up and down on each other. The other one was actually on a pretty nice line to just shoot, it, you know, half ball hit or something like that. Uh, there are no California teams because California is not part of the Western BCA. They do their own thing in California. Uh oh. Oh, oh roll, roll. no. That wasn't it. That's not the safety she's looking she was looking for. She was just looking a little double little kiss yeah, safety. Yeah, and just I don't know if it rolled off or what happened, but that was not what she was attempting, obviously. Sava's working on a run out over here. Very right, nice shot, Pavel. Pavel. Oh. oh my goodness. Oh, all right, Kathy. Like I'm saying. Get it together. Take a couple of breaths and. Like I'm saying, the pressure is real. They're playing for thousands of dollars. Yeah, Kathy walked out there and was mouthing like, OMG. <laughs> this Slava guy can play some. Yeah. Who knew? Who knew our, our housemate could play? Um, <laughs> they was keeping it a secret from us. His teammates might have known a little bit. They might have known, but they were keeping it a secret from us, too. Our other housemates might have known, but they didn't tell us either. <laughs> So probably everybody knew but us. Probably. <laughs> probably. He rolls the ball real nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you computer guys. Nice shot, Kathy. Ooh, nice bank shot. Never a doubt. All right. Fargo on, on the hill. And Slava trying to make it double hill. There we go. There hill we hill. go. Hill, hill. Like it was like it was ever going to end uh -huh. any other so way. So we got Daniel and Renat. All right. So we have, let's see. Slava, Slava won that one. Oh, my pen is running out of ink. It's not running out of ink. It's just not writing. And Kathy won that one. Yeah, U18 BC would have scratched had she hit that any almost any harder. It started to fall off back, you know, up table a little bit. But she hit it with good speed. All right, my boy's back on. All right, we'll, uh, all right we'll handle this. Uh, we can handle this game on our own. Come on, Daniel. Bust him hard. We'll keep the cue ball on the table. Mm -hmm. He's making sure they're all frozen to the table real quick. Uh, Vincent, no, this is the last game. There, it is not win by two. Well, whoever win, whoever wins this game wins the match. It's it's a there's a it's a set race, and whoever gets to that number first wins. And Daniel's not entirely happy with the rack, pointing out that there are some gap some gaps in there, like possibly like a gap between the seven three. 
which actually a gap between the seven three doesn't matter. He's talking about between the four six. I don't know if there's a, if a gap between the four six matters. A gap between the seven three definitely does not matter. Hey, Rick Jones, welcome. Yeah, get out the flashlight. <laughs> flashlight and magnifying glass. Yeah, it's kind of like uh, the old saying goes, you know, uh, practice does not make perfect. Perfect practice makes perfect. Or something like that. Uh, why? Because there are thousands of dollars on the line, and it's basically just playing one game for it here. So uh, that's why. Because there's money involved. Man, can he hold this up for the three? Man, that's what he's wondering. If he cuts this in, that cue ball's gonna end up like probably up around where that five is. Doesn't really want to end up way up there. And yeah, and then from here, three to the four. Depends, maybe maybe he can cheat the pocket and draw straight back. Oh yeah, he can cheat the pocket and draw straight back to the middle of the table. Nicely done. Yeah, this is kind of a tricky spot. He's kind of a little bit far away from the five where it makes, makes it hard to do like a little precision, uh, like when you want to just draw over near that left side pocket. You just draw across the table near that left side pocket would be, would be, would be ideal. Off the rail, of course, you don't want to be frozen to the rail. So just opting to take the longer shot. Yeah, this is a touchy shot. From this distance, you know, doing the bottom right two rails around for the seven. It's easy to let that cue ball get away. And as long as he doesn't get frozen on the rail, he'll be okay. Oh man, this is tough. Can't watch. Jack up on this a little bit and just pop this seven. Fire it in with a pop stroke. Freeze that cue ball right there.
Or do you go the more cinch route and just roll it in, try to roll forward for the nine on the side? He's going to roll forward. Uh, okay, I thought he might roll forward farther than that, right? Take the cut on the nine. Tough shot for the match. There it is. There we go. Fargold pulling it off. They were trailing most of the match, and then they found their stride and overtook just for fun to win this very thrilling uh, hot seat match. Fargold will be moving into the finals. Nice match. Just for fun, still in the tournament, guaranteed at least third. They're going to be playing that match later on. And we will have the finals of this division tomorrow night at 8 o'clock. Coming up next, we're going to have the Silver Division hot seat match. That starts at 6 o'clock, so that's about 25 minutes away. Thanks for watching. We will be back in 25 minutes. See ya.